Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here with the new art journal layout. Today I will be working on my watercolor disc bounded 6x6 journal and uh, you will find links to whatever I'm using down below in the description area. This is the Distress Resist spray by Tim Holtz and I'm going to spray on top of my page just over a stencil. This is an older stencil by the Dilutions uh, line and I'm uh, doing this inside a box. Make sure to do that because this is actually glue and you don't want to spread glue all over your surface. Now I'm going to leave this to dry and I'm going to wash my stencil. And I'm planning to spray on top of it with my new shimmer sprays. Now I'm showing you here that the mica is all the way to the bottom. So make sure to shake your bottles well before you spray with them. Make sure that there is no mica stuck at the bottom. I hope you can see the difference. So I'm just shaking them nicely, making sure that everything is nicely mixed up there. And this is actually pure sunshine. I don't know if you can see the color, but it's super gorgeous. I think this is probably my favorite from the whole line. And it gives a beautiful shine on your projects. You will see that later on. Here is a bottle from the original collection without the shimmer. And you can see how the new bottles are smaller and they are cheaper, which means that for the same money, you can get two of those colors and you can build up your collection easier. Now I'm going to put my page inside the box again and now I'm going to spray with three of the shimmer colors and I'm going to spray a little bit of water on my page all over which is going to help all those colors to blend nicely together. Now the three colors I'm using are Pure Sunshine, Tangerine Dream and Bubblegum Pink. Now you can leave this to dry and it's going to stay nice and vibrant or you can blot it with a cloth or a paper towel and it's going to turn more subtle. And this is where you will be able to see the resist that I did with the um, spray in the beginning. And look at all the shine that these sprays give on your project. Now, as I always say, if you take a good care of your products, they will last you for a long time. So it's a good habit to always wipe the nozzle before you put the cups back on. This will ensure that there is, that there is no mica in the nozzle that might clog uh, your bottle for the next time you use it. This is a booklet by Dilutions and it has all those designs at quotes and I wanted to show you how easy it is to create a quick and easy page by just combining different designs from here. So I'm uh, picking two of those and I'm going to stick those on my page but first I'm going to get rid of all that white space so I'm going to use my scissors to cut around those legs. Now if you hate fuzzy cutting you can just stick this as it is and color the white area. Now, as you can see, I have cut out all the legs. They are ready to go. I'm going to stick them on top of my page by using matte medium. So I'm going to apply matte medium at the back of everything and stick it down. Now, one of the questions that I get all the time is how I care about my brushes that have a uh, matte medium. I just dip my brush inside water and I leave it there. Matte medium is water soluble, so it's going to be okay. And I can uh, wash my brush when I finish my project. From this coloring page, I want to use only the central design, so I'm using again my scissors to separate it. Now I'm planning to place this just on top of those legs, and I want to add some shine on uh, this strip of paper. So I want you to see here where the maca is all the way to the bottom. Make sure to shake, shake, shake until everything is nicely mixed up. The two colors that I will be using are uh, Fresh Lime and Calypso Teal. So you see how nicely they are mixed up now. I'm going to bring in my box again. You don't have to use a box. I just uh, don't like uh, spraying all over the place and making a mess on my table. So first I'm spraying with water and then I will use my uh, dilution sprays. You don't have to do that, but I find that it helps the colors blend nicely together. Don't forget to wipe your nozzles. So this way you keep uh, your bottles as brand new, put on the cups and now I'm going to give it a quick hit just to make sure that everything is nice and dry before I move on to the next step. And you can see how shiny it is. 
Now it's time to use again my matte medium. I'm taking that brush that I used before, making sure that it's nice and dry, and then I will apply my matte medium. I'm doing that because I don't want to transfer too much water on my page. So now I will dip my brush again in the water and let it sit there. I'm going to decide where this is going to go, making sure that I cover up the top of all those legs. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess. Now Ranger sent me a box full of products and I did an unboxing video which I am going to link at the end of this video so you can take a look at it. And I'm trying to work on this page by mainly using products from that box. So I'm going to add um, a shade of uh, flesh on uh, the legs and uh, for that I'm working with my archival link. They are not meant to be used with water, but you can see that you can work it out. And here I managed to create a flesh tone just by combining two colors, and these are uh, chrome yellow and sepia. Now to color all these legs, I am going to use again my new shimmer sprays, but this time instead of using them as sprays, I am going to create my own palette. So I have these pipettes and I'm going to add just a drop of the colors that I want to work with. And by the way, I have tons of those pipettes, they are really inexpensive, and I'm going to show you later how you can clean them and use them again and again. The five colors I used in the order that you see them are um, Calypso Teal, Fresh Lime, Pure Sunshine, Polished Jade and Tangerine Dream. Now my palette is ready and a little goes a long uh, way, you will see that uh, I have way more than I actually need. And now I'm going to clean my pipettes, all you have to do is just use a little bit of water. I didn't even bother to bring uh, clean water. And I actually have hundreds of them, they only cost a few dollars and uh, you will have pipettes for the rest of your life. I'm actually going to bring in uh, the box here so you can see how many I have. And now with my brush I'm going to color in everything. You don't have to be perfect, remember this is just an art journal, it's for fun. If you go outside the lines, it's okay. And uh, what I love about those shimmer uh, sprays is that they are actually translucent, so it doesn't cover up the lines, and they are great for coloring uh, black and white images. And you can see that a little goes a long way. You can put all those droplets back if you use the pipettes or just use them on another project. So we used the sprays to color which are actually translucent and now I'm going to show you another medium from the Dilusions line. These are the pens, the paint pens by Dilusions and uh, they have a very fine tip nib and the right opaque on top of uh, anything. So this is actually acrylic paint inside and you can see how it writes nicely on top of black. I'm using these pens to add some doodling here and there. I'm also going to add some details on the legs. Now if you watch the unboxing uh, video I did of all the Ranger products that I got, you will see there how I prep those pens and I'm also sharing there a few tips and tricks on how you can keep them in great condition. So make sure to check it out, I will link it at the end of this video. Now all I'm doing is adding a little doodling and uh, you can never stop with that, so let's move on to the next step which is adding the quote. And uh, in this booklet there are many quotes, those fun quotes by Dilusions that we are all used to. And I decided to go with one that says, if it doesn't make you feel fabulous, don't do it, don't buy it, don't keep it. I'm using my scissors to cut out all the little strips and then I'm going to stick them down. I'm using tape adhesive to do so, but you can also use your matte medium or any other type of glue. So that's it, my page is actually ready. Of course you can go back and add even more details if you want to with your uh, paint pens. 
Here I'm just working with my pens to add highlights and uh, shading on all those uh, legs. And uh, then finally I am going uh, to use my black archival link to go all around the edges just to add a touch of black border. And finally I'm going to put back uh, the page on my art journal, so I'm just pressing inside those discs. And I have already the second page on my journal. So that was the project for today, I hope you had fun, you got inspired, and uh, here are some close-up photos of the project that I did today. Don't forget to take a look on the unboxing video, it's lots of fun and I share lots of tips on how you can use these mediums. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.